Look at the market come back. I mean, uh, we should actually put that up as well. There's just seven points. There's a sharp pullback which is happening uh, as we speak. And, uh, you know, this is very much just here because I can't see US futures which have pulled back or anything of that sort. So this is entirely the action uh, in India. Uh, so we were down 60, 65 points, what, just now? And uh, we are down uh, just about 13, 12 points now. So pretty incredible, uh, the kind of pullback we are seeing uh, at this point in time. Let me just quickly uh, check what's moved in the last couple of minutes of trade. And I think that should give you a sense of uh, where this is coming from. Okay, let me just quickly pull up the Bank Nifty uh, as an as a example. I think the Bank Nifty is also seeing a pullback, 21,477. Bank Nifty is in the green now, a quarter percent higher, uh, basically. Uh, you know, Hero Motor Corp, I think Bajaj Finance is pulling back up, Kotak Bank is up, Sun Pharma is up, Bajaj Auto is up, Wipro, ICICI Bank, Maruti. I mean, actually across the board, there seems to be a fair bit of, uh, you know, pullback which is underway uh, as we speak. It's not as if lots of stocks are up a lot, but, uh, you know, stocks which were down a lot are starting to uh, correct. Uh, upwards. So that's essentially what's going on. But the news on the economy front from a slightly longish perspective is not very good. Uh, IMF's chief economist Geeta Gopinath uh, talked about growth forecasts not just here in India but for the world as well. Basically in two months flat. The last forecast from the IMF uh, came in about two months ago and uh, you know in the intervening two months because of what has happened to the economy IMF has revised their growth forecasts for uh, countries around the world including India a lot lower. Listen in. Reasons for the downgrade for India. One, the partial lockdown has lasted much longer than uh, we had assumed in our April numbers. Uh, and second, because we are still saying rising cases in India, we are projecting a slower recovery. The first half of this year uh, turned out to be somewhat worse than we anticipated in April. In many countries, the period of the lockdown was extended. Uh, and going forward, we expect to have much more persistent social distancing because the health crisis is not over. And that's going to have an effect also on potential growth. So these factors led to the downgrade. On the baseline, we're assuming that through a combination of measures, some of which would be just, you know, people practicing social distancing, wearing masks, offices being uh, uh, rearranged appropriately, that we might see some increase in infections, but we will not be seeing the kind of stringent lockdowns that we saw in the first half of this year. Uh, the question is, of course, whether we might have a big second wave. And we have looked at that scenario, which is what if there's a big second wave. Now, that's a case where global growth is going to be then pretty much close to zero in 2021, as opposed to 5.4%, which we are projecting uh, now. Okay, from the macros to the micros, I just want to point out that one of the stocks that has done exceptionally well uh, this year is Escorts from the tractor space. And even today, Escorts is well above the 1,000 mark. So it's almost a 4% rally right now for Escorts, which means it has rallied 65% this year. Uh, the rural space has made a big comeback and Escorts is one of the big beneficiaries of that. By the way, as Prashant was pointing out, there's a big surge in the market from the lows. The mid caps are now up almost 125 points. So there's quite a bit of buying. We started off with very negative cues and now look where we are. Uh, let's get you some interesting opinion. We spoke with Anand Kripalu, the MD and CEO of United Spirits and Diageo India, as well as Richa Arora of Tata Consumer Products to understand what the consumer uh, demand sentiment is into uh, areas which are at the opposite ends of the spectrum, alcohol as well as uh, tea and coffee. Listen in. The worst is behind us and I would say the best is yet to come. Okay. Obviously, we, and during lockdown, nothing happened. We didn't sell anything. Our factories were shut. Now what's happened is pretty much every state is open. It's open in different ways, though, but every state is open. The on-trade, which is about a quarter of the prestige and above business in our industry, is still broadly shut, right? You can't really go out and, and have a drink anywhere. So that's broadly shut. I think with each passing day, we are hoping that things will only get better, but I think it's a slow progress and a slow journey. Today, pretty much every factory is now functioning. 
okay? And they are functioning close to pre-COVID capacity. So they are ready to service the demand as it gets back to pre-COVID demand. As Diageo India, we are committing 75 crores to be invested uh, over a period of two years to support bars, pubs, and restaurants that serve alcohol. During the first six, seven uh, weeks of the lockdown, we saw a very definite surge in demand for our, uh, both our Tata Sampal unpolished dals and the organic uh, dals range, as well as convenience products like uh, the ready-to-cook uh, range of Nutri-Mixes we have, uh, the Kichri mix and the multigrain chila and all. Uh, but now, as we are moving into the phase of unlockdown, demand is uh, coming back to normal levels, I would say, though it remains uh, marginally higher for some products. Uh, for, you know, products like salt and spices, demand has been quite steady. The plan for the year, of course, has built in growths over last year. And we are, I would say, uh, uh, fairly, uh, uh, I would say, doing well as far as the plan is concerned. Of course, uh, you know, with the situation there, it's an everyday challenge. And therefore, for some products, there may be a little up and down happening here. But by and large, we are getting back to uh, getting close to uh, our plans. In, in foods, uh, as I've shared with you, we are you know, getting back to our, uh, I would say, close to our budgets. We are, uh, we've got production back going up uh, about 75 to 90%. Okay, uh, we will take a very quick break here. The market is up 15 points, so it's a remarkable recovery that we're talking about, uh, and very, very fast, by the way. All of it happened over the last 15 minutes or so. It, into a break, we are back. Um, Mr. A.K. Das, Managing Director and CEO at Bank of India, will join in.